Well, hello, everybody. Greetings from New England. You know, the last of the leaves are starting to fall off here in New Hampshire, and the holidays are almost upon us. I, I can't believe I'm saying that. It feels like 2021 just got started, and here we are talking about the end of the year already. But it is upon us nonetheless, isn't it? I know, crazy. Um, it's just hard to mm. believe. But we're coming to you today to bring you our monthly prayer and financial partner video. And some of you may be wondering, hey, I don't think I got a newsletter or anything nope. in my box from those guys. And you didn't. That's totally true. <laughs> because when we sent out our last newsletter in September, we were waiting. We said we would have news about our new port partner organization in the next newsletter. So we're just now at the point that we can finally share the awesome news of what God has done in the past few months with our new organization. Mm. Uh, so with our apologies, we will be getting uh, just a November newsletter out to you this week uh, with the exciting things we've been dying to share with you uh, for the past few days. Dying to yes. share with you. <laughs> we have been dying, not the last few days, last few weeks, last few months. Mm. Uh, guys, if you remember earlier this year, uh, we shared with all of you that uh, Restoration House Ministries would be closing later this past summer. And that set us on a journey to find a, a new church planting organization, a totally sending this summer in a direction we didn't see coming. Uh, it led to dozens and dozens of conversations with groups and organizations just about everywhere about our desire to see a new church planted in, in Western Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those conversations eventually led us to a group that was all the way across the country in Portland, Oregon, <laughs> called Expand Northwest. Through hours and hours of prayer, many, many conversations, and seeking God's heart, we've come to see a leadership and organization that absolutely loves Jesus. And they're the ones who led us to go through the assessment process again, just to confirm that call on our lives toward church planting. Yeah, and so if you remember, in this video last month, hmm. uh, I asked you to pray for the trip that we were gonna be taking to Texas in mid-October. Now, our specific prayer in going out there was that the people who would assess us would see the call on our lives to plant a new church in New England as clearly as we did and encourage that call. Well, guys, three weeks ago in a room at a church in Richardson, Texas, uh, we had a group of assessors sitting in front of us overwhelmingly confirm mm -hmm. our call to plant a new church in New England. And I got to tell you, we got on that plane in Dallas, Texas, absolutely stunned and totally excited by what we had heard, right? I know, it was so humbling. Yeah. Uh, that trip to Texas also served to clarify our call to work with Expand Northwest. Yeah. And two weeks ago, we accepted the invitation of Expand Northwest to join their team to see a new church planted in Springfield, Mass. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, those were words we were waiting on a long oh my goodness. time. And I don't want you to let what Bonnie just said slide by you. Mm. Guys, so many of you have prayed for us over the last year. Mm. Uh, you've prayed for Restoration House Ministries here in Manchester. Mm. Uh, New Hampshire. Um, but guys, God has done something amazing here through your prayers. Uh, guys, don't don't miss this. Our formal partnership with RHM took 15 months to get mm -hmm. off the ground. 15 months. And guys, God found us a new partner in this journey of planting with Expand Northwest in a little over four months. Mm -hmm. In a little over 100 days, God has brought us into partnership with an organization that is absolutely outstanding. And we believe it's all been Him, but your prayers have played a massive part. In oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> but if you caught what Jason just said a minute ago, we're partnering with an organization in Portland, Oregon to plant a church in Springfield, Massachusetts. So how in the world did that happen? Well, that's a story that we're gonna leave to our newsletter that's coming to your uh, inbox, or your mailbox, I should say, later this week. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> make you wait. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, for now though, we wanna let you know that um, if you're giving to this effort to start mm -hmm. a new church in Springfield, Mass, uh, you already have a letter that's going to land in your mailbox uh, sometime this coming week. Uh, it has all the details about how you can continue to give to this uh, new church launch in Western Mass. But we also want to tell you, you can go ahead and go on our website now uh, to check all this out. We have already linked uh, the giving links away from RHM, and we've connected them to Expand Northwest. For now, though, we'll just tell you, if you want to give, uh, you can go to expandnw.org right there on the bottom of the screen and you can click on the donate tab at the top of the page. You can choose a one-time or recurring donation designation and then you can click under the Springfield MA donation uh, designation. Again, if you have donated to us in the past or you're currently donating, all this information can be found uh, in the letter that'll hit your mailbox this week. 
That's right. So we also wanted to let you know that all giving to RHM on our behalf will be stopping at the end of 2021. So um, otherwise your gift will be going to Orchard Group itself and not to our church plant. So you'll want to move that over. Um, of course, you can give to Orchard Group sure. if you'd like to. They're a great organization and as God leads. But we'd love for you to continue giving toward this particular effort in Springfield, Mass, if you feel so led to. Um, our fundraising is going to begin in earnest uh, soon to hopefully start this church in the coming year. So we need uh, your giving now more than ever, and we thank you for doing that as you're able to. Yeah, thank you in advance for that. Again, if you've given to this effort financially, uh, you're going to see a letter coming to your mailbox soon. Uh, but, but if you've not given to this effort yet, I, what I'd ask you to do, what we'd ask you to do is maybe take some time right at the end of this video and just ask God. God, do you want me, involved, be, me to be involved financially in what you're doing in one of the darkest spiritual cities in America? Ask him. Mm, that's yeah. true. Before we go, we'd just like to ask you to pray for our upcoming move to Springfield. We're so excited. Finally. Next week, we're packing up the boxes and we're leaving this place that we love. We've called it home for the last 14 months, Restoration House. And though the sign has been taken down, R.H. Gem is officially, officially no more. This truly was our house of restoration. No We've been changed here, restored here, and more than anything, the vision and calling to start a new church in Springfield, Mass. has been clarified here, which has been amazing. Yeah, we're so grateful for this place and guys next week after 27 months of praying for Springfield that city will no longer be a, well maybe one day God will take us there no Springfield Massachusetts will be the city we now call home yep. and we thank God for this we thank God for the prayers that you've given the financial generosity that you've given that have all helped make this happen so we'd love to pray for that uh, we'd ask you to pray for us over the next month but pray for us and play, pray with us I should say right now our God and our Father, how we thank you so much for what you're doing. Uh, we couldn't have seen, Lord, the twist and the turn that was coming this past July, uh, this past June, Lord, but um, you saw it coming. And in your sovereignty, Lord, you took an organization literally thousands of miles away on the other side of this country, and you were preparing their hearts years in advance, as we have learned, to look beyond the Pacific Northwest into where you may be leading elsewhere in the world. You've taken that organization to Uganda. You've taken that organization now to Western Massachusetts. And God, we're so excited for your leading on that organization and your leading on our hearts to partner with them. Lord, I want to pray for Sean, for uh, Russ, for Gary, for that team uh, as we partner with them. But Lord, I want to especially pray for those watching right now. Lord, those people who have given through prayer those people who have given through dollars mm -hmm. and we're so grateful for them. Lord, would you meet them right now? Whatever challenge they have in this coming week, in this coming month, in this holiday season, God, would you meet them right where they are? And Lord, would our hearts all be to ask you, God, are you leading me this way? And then to listen mm -hmm. and say, God, if you're leading this way and you tell me to go, I'm going to go. Lord, that is, that is uh, the desire of our heart. We pray it's the desire of those who are listening pray a mighty blessing upon them. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thanks so much. Have a great Thank rest you. of November. We'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.